The Year's a Guide for the Citizens' Initiative brought in by the Lisbon Treaty just became clearer. Every European citizen can ask the European Commission to legislate on an issue. European Commissioner Maros Shevchovic has made the following suggestions. Basic condition. The threshold is fixed at 1 million signatures from at least one third of member states. Some feel this condition is too rigid. It seems like the Commission don't want it to be used very much. A problem can be a European co problem if only one or two countries think it is, it is a problem. A minimum number of national signatures will be required based on the country's population size, so 4,500 for Luxembourg and 72,000 for Germany. Petitions can be gathered over the internet. Collecting signatures in the street will always be authorised. Petitions must be clear and concise and state the precise identity of the organisers. We introduced uh, two, safeguards, uh, two safeguards in the European Citizens' Initiative uh, uh, for the reason uh, that this instrument will not be abused. Once the first 300,000 signatures have been collected, a check on the petition's validity is planned. We are talking about competencies of the European Union. You could establish an initiative on climate change. But petitions can only relate to laws and not the treaties. The idea of having just one single seat in Europe for the European Parliament this is not a competence of the Union because this is established in the treaty. Second stage. Once the million signature bar has been reached, signatures are checked. The Commission intends to give its final say in the next four months in favour or against this project. Whichever option it picks, it will have to justify its decision. The regulation is currently in the hands of the Council and the Parliament. This new democratic tool could be wielded by citizens by the start of 2011 at the latest.